about uh, 9.15 in the morning. Uh, I'm sitting on the back porch here. We're trying to wake up. Um, we we'll launch in Sleeper Money in about 24 hours. Today I'm just working on little details and this is and that's and uh, just making sure everything's cool. All my ducks in a row and uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Well, and I got a workshop tonight at 6 p.m. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, cool. That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> just to give them kind of a heads up. Thanks for calling PayPal. This call, including conversations with you or any other person, may be recorded or monitored for quality purposes. Good for you, sir. Yeah, um, so I have a product launch coming out tomorrow, um, and I expect a small influx in funds to my PayPal account, so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about that so you were aware. Yeah, absolutely. Let me go ahead and get that notated, sir. Do you know how much of an influx it would be? Yeah, I would say, it de depending on traffic volume and, and sales volume, probably between, I would say between four and eight thousand dollars. So not like a huge, right. not, not a huge product launch, but a small one, so. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. I could just get amazing sales. <laughs> go crazy. Am I just go crazy? <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, that's what I'm projecting, so. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Yeah, that wouldn't be gotcha. just tomorrow. That would gotcha. be over the next. Gotcha. It's, it's going to be a four day launch, gotcha. so that'll be probably gotcha. over a gotcha. four day period, so. Okay. Alright, sir, I got that note today on the account here in case anything comes up, so you should be good to go. Alright, hey, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate you guys. It's not a problem. You have a good one, sir. Enjoy those profits. Enjoy those profits. <laughs> I am We Todd It. I am Sofa King We Todd It. Um, I don't think that's necessarily gonna, you know, mean that there's not gonna be a problem with my PayPal account or anything like that because PayPal has several departments and it's nice that he notated that, but I mean, you never know uh, what could happen with PayPal. Oh no! <laughs> Um, I think, personally, the best thing I think you can do when it comes to PayPal is have a really, really good, solid, tight refund policy. <clears throat> you guys might have noticed these books I have on my little shelf back here. I, these are some books I just really enjoyed. How to Sell a Lobster, really cool book by Bill Bishop uh, on uh, just, you know, just marketing tactics. Uh, very, very cool. He, he tells stories that really, really amplifies the use of 10 different marketing tactics in here. It's very, very cool. Uh, book a list by TV Guide. It's just a way to, for me to draw inspiration uh, about, um, you know, just how to put content together and stuff like that. Uh, differentiate or die, die. It's just about, um, it's, it's just about, you know, being different out there when you're trying to sell and you're trying to do marketing. Uh, how to differentiate yourself, uh, from competition. And then how to rig an election is, <laughs> it's, this is one of my favorite books. It's, it's, it just kind of a reminder of, you know, the game I'm playing. Um, and, and people just don't play fair in this game. So it is difficult to be an honorable, uh, ethical, ethical marketer. And, you know, draw your line in the sand and, and don't cross it. It can be difficult. It's about getting on to 1 o'clock p.m. 
Um, this morning, I was just wrapping up some details on my sales page, just kind of making sure all my ducks went in a row. <sighs> Called PayPal, um, answered some questions for a couple of affiliates, and just kind of basically just kind of get my ducks in a row. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to the library because sometimes. Finally, a quiet place to relax. Yo, 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 yo. So quiet. I can even hear the fish. Hello. Fish, you have 10 seconds to get the hell out of my sight. W w why? Five seconds. When did you start, Carl? One. W what are you gonna do? <sighs> Nothing. What? I just tried to scare you. <laughs> scared me? You, you need to step up your game, bro. All I want is to find a quiet place to relax a little. Yo, listen, I'm sorry, I didn't know. No, it's okay. I guess it's inevitable. This is just how life is. You know what? No! Huh? If you want quiet, I will get you quiet. My wife is probably searching for me, so I need to go down anyway. You're actually a really nice guy, Fish. <laughs> Thank you. Cam, I want you to sit with me. You, you sure? You earned it. Um, okay. Are you... are you okay? Ha! He died! Finally, some quiet. Die, motherfucker! Excuse me! Did you show my husband? Oh my god, darling! Quick stop before I got to the library there to show you guys something. This is, uh... Behind me there. You can see up there. That's the, uh, downtown Clark State Business Center. Uh, that is, uh, a satellite campus for Clark State Community College where they teach business. And man, let me tell you something, when I lost my job in 2010, um, I took a big shot, you know, going back to school for business, and uh, you know, it was a scary time, and uh, you know, that, that place right there, I spent a lot of time, I spent a lot of time, where'd it go, right there, I spent a lot of time in that built building right there, man, for sure, so... My thing is just, I'm no different than my neighbors. The only difference between me and my neighbors are that um, they work for somebody else and I just happen to run a business and work for myself. So I'm blessed in that regard. Um, but I tell you what, a lot of it was just, a lot of it is just from, man, taking chances, trying things, trying to stay humble, fight my ego all the time because I always got to fight my ego because I can... I'm just like everybody else, man. I can kind of have an ego and um, just try to stay humble, try to learn from my mistakes, man. Whenever you make mistakes, it's easy to blame other people. It's easy to blame the environment, the climate, whatever. It's easy to come up with excuses when things don't go the way you want them to. But the truth is, whew, it's hot in here. I'm going to have to turn this van on. The truth is, you know, usually when things don't go the way you want them to, what I found is there's always something that you could have done differently there's always something that you you could have done you could have initiated you could have executed that would have made it better um that's always been what i found and when i am honest with myself and i look at that guys it, it always pays off in dividends the next time i try to do something
we were at the uh, soccer fields. There is nothing out here. Nobody out here. It's not just the soccer fields though. It's also an entrance to a bicycle trail. Those trails um, that go all through Ohio, bicycle trails that it's all over the place. You can walk on these bicycle trails for miles and miles and miles. Well, just reading about these things here, now, these are poisonous. This is poisonous hemlock right here, I believe. It looks a lot like Queen Anne's lace, except the stalk. It's got this purplish striped stuff going up it. And also the stalk's kind of triangular, but the biggest thing is it's smooth. It, it's not, it doesn't got the little hairy things on it. Queen Anne's lace has hair on it. That stuff will kill you. you gotta be careful. I gotta cut all this stuff down. Cause I'm used to my family being with me. Uh, last time we were out here though, uh, we had two dogs and uh, our little dogs, they died. There wasn't anything wrong with them per se. They just, mostly they were just getting really old. Uh, they had stuff wrong with them. I think they both had cancer, but uh, I mean, we had one little dog. He lived to be 20. He was a he was a miniature collie. We had another dog. Robin taking off out of there. We had another one, a little a pit bull boxer mix. Um, she, she lived to be like 15. So beautiful dogs, man. We loved them. And, uh, being out here now kind of reminds me of those little pups. So, but uh, yeah, man, just getting some walking in. I got a workshop I'm gonna be doing here in about an, I don't know, man, like an hour and a half or something. Look at that. The way is straight. Which way will you go? <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm excited about this launch tomorrow. It's going to be cool. That's the smaller ones that look like that poisonous hemlock, but it's not. That's Queen Anne's Lace. And you can tell because if you get close, you can see there's hair. There's hair on the stalks. Notice there's no green. There's no, there's no purple on the stalks, but there is hair. They say you can remember it by the queen has hairy legs. <laughs> Hey, what is up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing amazing out there. This is Cam Fats, aka Cam Genics, coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. I want to welcome you to another episode of Cracking the Code: Internet Marketing for the rest of us. For the rest, for the rest of, of us. us. For the rest, for the rest of, of us. us. For the rest, for the rest of, of us. us. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, I just wrapped up uh, that last piece of free content uh, for Facebook and YouTube for Cracking the Code, episode five, and uh, and I'm pretty much wrapped for the day. I think I'm gonna go in and just relax, maybe get some supper together. Um, I'll catch up with you guys before I go to bed tonight. But uh, um, I'll tell you, my head's been my head's kind of spinning just from doing the workshop and doing that content. But as that's starting to wind down, I'm thinking more about, you know, tomorrow and like what I think the numbers look like. You know, I think I'm a little more nervous this time around than I was usually because my last one kind of flopped, um, you know, and, and when I think about it, I think, yeah, there's 
good reasons why that launch flopped and and all of them pretty much have to do with me so <laughs> they they all are, are my my mistakes my problems that I have to fix and hopefully I fixed a lot of those and, and with this product sleeper money um, um, I've had some pretty profound um, revelations uh, when it comes to product launching and how I approach it um, you know, I really had to take a step back and do some soul searching and kind of figure out, you know, what's going on. It's really, really easy to blame things on the environment and the climate and all oh, the climate's changing. This is happening. That's happening. And you can really like work yourself into a place where like you're blaming other things for your problems. And half of those things might not even be true. You know, it's like you're just looking for a reason why it's not your fault. And it's really dumb because, I mean, you can't fix it if it's not your fault. But the truth is, you know, most things that happen, um, there was things you could have done to prevent them. There was things you could have done to change the outcome. And uh, I think that's part of being an entrepreneur and just it's part of, uh, you know, I don't know, being a human who's trying to better yourself, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know, guys. I'm kind of kind of worn out now. I've had kind of a stomach ache the second part of this day. about 11 30 p.m. Uh, on a Thursday evening I am uh, just kind of wrapping up the day and uh, I'm probably gonna edit this video here and uh, have it ready for content for tomorrow on the first day of the launch um, but uh, other than that man uh, it's a wrap for today and uh, I feel good. Uh, I feel like I've done everything that I could do to make the launch as good as it can be. Um, I've used all my marketing tricks and and things like that. Uh, I feel like I've done a pretty good job um, on this one. And uh, you know, we'll see, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that work pays off and and it does well. And and um, yeah, sometimes you just never know, man. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Um, I'll feel better about it after 100 sales down, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. I think I think it'll do pretty good. Should be a pretty good weekend. So, anyways, we'll see. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. And uh, good luck out there on all your launches. Peace, guys.